Hey guys, and thank you so much for joining me for another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Stephanie. If you are new here, welcome, and if you are not, welcome back. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much, you guys. I hit 5,000 subscribers over the holidays. My heart is just filled with so much appreciation for you all. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Everybody that I speak to in the comments, you're all always so kind and so gracious towards me. And I'm just so happy that you guys have chosen to look past my terrible jokes and my obsession with my dog and follow me on my food journey. Because you guys are so special to me, I wanted to do something special for you. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So I'm going to be doing five gift cards, five $25 gift cards for my 5,000 subscribers. I will have the entry uh, details in the description box below. Super simple. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, like my last post, and comment on it. For an extra entry, you can comment on this video and tell me what your favorite dish was that I made this week. The giveaway will end January 31st at midnight, so that way I can get the cards out to you guys and you can get yourself something special for Valentine's Day. But yeah, so everything is going to be in the description box below. I'm so excited for this, you guys. But for now, let's go ahead and get into some super delicious dinners. So this week, I decided to do a week of one pot meals. This is the first week of January after all the holiday craziness. I actually made this the day after New Year's and at this point I am just like super tired and everything hurts and I just want to sleep for two weeks but I can't so I was just like we're one pot mealing it this week so anyways I went ahead and put together some meals I hope you guys will enjoy this first one here is creamy tortellini soup and I'll show you guys how I make it I've just put in my garlic and my onions and my ground beef and I'm seasoning it up again and just gonna cook it up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna add two cans of condensed tomato soup. Um, you guys are gonna see in a second. I actually got this idea from Josh's mom. She makes kind of a red pepper, like stuffed red pepper or green pepper, whatever, stuffed peppers <laughs> um, with these with uh, tomato soup. And I had never even thought of that before to make you know something tomato based with the uh, tomato soup from Campbell's so I thought that was super cool so I decided that I was gonna use that in this soup and I just added in the rest of my beef broth and whenever I'm using canned anything in the soup I always like rinse out the can if it's good into the like not rinse it out but like fill it up with whatever broth I'm using and I dump it in the soup um, so now I've been talking about that for so long that I've gone through basically this entire soup it's a super easy soup you guys so I just I'm dying to make a soup joke also but anyway um, I put the tortellini and the spinach in there and once the tortellini was cooked up I added in my mozzarella cheese and spun it around the pot a little bit to melt it down into the soup and now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of uh, heavy whipping cream a couple turns of the pot just to make it creamy and I'll plate it up for you guys So here it is in all of its deliciousness. This was so good. I put some grated Parmesan cheese on top. We all loved it. Even my mom who doesn't like tortellini. Yes, you heard me right. Doesn't like tortellini. I don't know why. I don't know what happened, but she liked this soup. So we're back on the tortellini train for her. Um, but yeah, you guys, this was so, so easy and it was very quick. It couldn't have been more than 30 minutes. It came together so fast. Definitely 10 out of 10. So good. So this dinner was kind of an accident. I meant to do some Mexican rice, but I just didn't have any rice left and I thought I did. Um, but I used orzo, so definitely no love lost there. Orzo is amazing. <laughs> so I just made this kind of like, it's supposed to be taco rice, but it's taco orzo, I guess like Mexican style orzo. And I'll show you guys how I made it. It was so easy and it was again, like it was ready in like 30 minutes. So I'm just browning up some ground beef here, you guys, and I'm kind of like preparing it how I prepare my tacos. And I know that um, usually you're just supposed to do like taco meat and then cook it all the way and then put in your taco seasoning. 
but I like to put in like half and half. I think that the meat really gets like a lot of flavor when it's still like, you know, seasoned raw. So that's how I do it. But by all means, you do it however you want. This is just what I found has worked for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my broth and my salsa and I'm gonna bring that up to a, like a simmer, like kind of a boil and add in my orzo. I'm gonna stir that in and let that go. I'm gonna cook it um, without the top on and I'm just gonna be stirring it as I go. I didn't need to add any extra broth, but if you do, definitely don't be afraid to. <laughs> um, I just, sometimes I feel like if I put the temperature up higher, I'll need more broth, but I cooked this on like medium, straight up medium, and it went perfect, and this is what it looks like, all done. I just thought it looked so pretty in the pan, so I didn't even bother to put it in a bowl um, to film it. I just put some green onions and some red pepper on top, just for some freshness, and it was just so delicious. I absolutely loved this. You can definitely add whatever taco flavorings you guys like. Like I know Josh added taco sauce and I put a little bit of sour cream, which I didn't even need. I just, on its own, it was so good. So this next soup is kind of just like an Italian chicken soup with some vegetables. Um, it's kind of like a riff off of pasta fagiole, but like the chicken version. I'm pretty sure this was my favorite thing I made this week. It was super flavorful and hearty, but like it was light at the same time. It was just really, really good. So one thing I wanted to show you that really flavors the broth and like takes it to the next level is putting some Parmesan rinds in there. This is something that I got off watching the Food Network and it was probably Rachel Ray or Ina Garten, the Barefoot Contessa, because they're my faves. But I just wanted to show you guys up close the rinds and um, I get those, they're super cheap. This was like $2 for this whole big thing. And I'll only use like two pieces for this soup. So I froze that and I'll just put it in future soup. So I'm chopping up all my veggies in here and I'll get the soup started and show you how I make it. So as you can see, I've just been cooking up and seasoning my veggies. I added some garlic to the pan and oh, it just smelled so good at this point, like oh so good. Um, so now I'm adding in my broth slowly and I'm going to show you guys when I add in the little parmesan rinds, but right now I'm just getting all the flavors up off the bottom and getting everybody down in there and it's almost like creamy like that's how good oh, it's just so good you guys oh my goodness I can't so definitely please try to look for these parmesan rinds they're so great and they flavor the soup so much but I've got those down in there and I cook them just by themselves with the uh, veggies and stuff for a little bit before I added in like all the rest of my broth and everything but I'll show you guys that in a second just a little side note um, the parmesan rinds and the broth created enough like creaminess for me that I didn't add in my cream. Um, but if you don't have the Parmesan rinds or whatever, you could definitely add in the cream and some um, Parmesan cheese and kind of get the same effect. But I did want to tell you guys because I know that I had cream out there on my little recipe board. Um, so that'll just be like, if you don't have the Parmesan rinds, that's what you'll do. Once the pasta is all cooked up, I am adding in my shredded chicken and my spinach, and we're done. So here it is. I just got a piece of garlic bread dunked in there. This was so fabulous. I love soup. I just, I love it. 
and this has like a bunch of veggies in there and that delicious broth and the chicken and it was just out of out of this world it was so good i definitely suggest you guys make this one it was hearty but light and i just it was so so good super delicious and super easy again another one that didn't take more than like this probably took like 35 minutes because of the extra time that i steeped the um parmesan rinds in there but totally worth it and it was really easy to do So I kind of just made this up like a couple years ago. Um, I was like leaning towards jambalaya, but I just didn't have anything like Cajun seasoning or whatever. So this is just called chicken surprise. Like <laughs> if you can name something chicken tetrazzini, then chicken surprise is fine. So this is just my chicken surprise and I'll show you guys how I make it. So I just started with a little bit of butter in the bottom of the pan. I don't usually start it out like that, but I was using um, some frozen chopped vegetables as you guys can see and I figured they could use a little help. So um, they are uh, onion, green pepper, red pepper, and celery and I thought that that sounded awesome. And I think there's like parsley in there. So I just cooked that down and it was a super time saver which was also great. Now I'm just making the rice aroni according to the uh, instructions on the box. I use a family side so that we can have leftovers of this and take it to work. And because I forgot to brown up my sausage first, I'm just digging a hole in the middle and browning it up a bit. Then I'm gonna add in my shredded chicken, my tomatoes, the water, and this uh, rice seasoning. And I'm gonna let that cook, just like I should be cooking the rice, you know, like I said, following the directions on the box. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So this is what it looks like all plated up. Chicken surprise is always a hit in my house. I did put some shredded cheese on top of it when it was done and put the lid back on the pot so it melted. But this is like the perfect dish for a winter day when it's like cold and sat out <laughs> and you just want some super delicious food in a hurry. This only took 30 minutes and it was just fabulous. Always a go-to for me. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching all of this delicious food because I loved making it and loved eating it even more. I hope you guys got some one pot inspiration. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and definitely do not forget about our giveaway, guys. $25 gift certificates, five of them up for grabs. And everything you need to know is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a blessed and awesome week. Bye.